Hey guys, it's Di, and I am back with another installment in the Wear and Tear series. And today I'm going to do the Louis Vuitton Sarah Wallet, which is my absolutely favorite wallet from Louis Vuitton. And also, I feel like this is really kind of a testament to how well Louis Vuitton holds up because I have used this wallet off and on over the past few years, but it gets everyday use when I do use it. And I really feel like this wallet has held up extraordinarily well and also because of the Verney leather it's shiny it's pretty but it's also a lot more durable than you would think um I feel like my wallet you know it has a few places to wear which I'm going to go over but I feel like it still looks like new when you just look at it or it looks very very good um obviously you can tell it's been used um there are some places of wear on it that you can tell it's been used and that sort of thing but overall I really feel like for how much it's been used this is an everyday item for me. It goes down in all my bags. I very rarely switch it out. Um, I feel like it's held up really great. So the very first area that I wanted to mention was the leather flap here on the inside. And I normally have cards all here in the interior. I've been using a smaller bag the past few days and have a few cards pulled out um, in a different wallet. So um, generally there is four cards here in the front. And what that does over time is it, there's kind of a ridge mark line here at the top and that's just naturally from those cards over time for whatever reason it makes kind of this like lined pattern here it's the sides um, next to the imprint um, so that is one sign of wear but it doesn't bother me at all um, you know I'm not going to try to do anything to alter it or fix it or anything I think it's just a natural part of how this wallet wears and I have seen this um, on other wallets as well and I try not to overstuff it too much, but I do, you know, use it as my regular wallet, stick receipts, and that sort of thing down in here. And then also back here, there's another place for cards. You will see that the card slots kind of loosen up a little bit over time, but they're still, you know, really good to where you can turn it upside down, the cards aren't going to fall out, um, and they hold the cards in there securely. Back here is where I like to keep additional things like receipts or cash or business cards or whatever and um, I also feel like this leather flap has held up really well even with having to open it to get things out from time to time. Uh, the date code on this wallet, I should have brought a flashlight in here with me, is TH2048, so the 24th week of 2008, so this wallet is four years old and I really feel like for four-year-old wallet um, that really has had quite substantial use it's held up extremely well the only thing on the sides where it has kind of a glaze on the sides or kind of a cover there are a few very very teeny tiny areas and I'll try to get a detailed picture of that here at the side which literally are smaller than the white on my fingernail where it's chipped ever so slightly um, but this did not start happening until I'd say it's happened within the past year so for about the first three years of using this that did not happen at all um, it's very very slight there's one little area right here on this side and then the same exact spot on the other side so it's probably from being put down in the you know handbag or purse a certain way um, or just rubbing up against things inside the bag but again honestly I mean for using something for three to four years and have that minor of a detail happen I'm still thoroughly thoroughly pleased with this wallet um, on the sides, you can see that the seams are still really good. There's no problems with the seams there. And the zipper on these has also held up really, really well. Um, it's pretty easy to get in and out of, and I do actually hold change in mine, so um, no issues there. And, um, I mean, what else is there to say? It really is a quite a substantial wallet, and I really feel like these are worth the money. Um, I do have another Sarah wallet here to kind of compare. This one is in Rouge Faviste. It's quite a bit newer and um, has had a lot less use. Let me see if I can find the year here. Twelfth week of 2011. So, um, like a year old, basically. So this is a one-year-old Sarah wallet that's had very, very sporadic use. It's probably been used for less than like a week or two in its life. And this is a Sarah wallet that's been very, very heavily used and um, 
you know, has had everyday use. Um, you can see at the sides, obviously this one has things in it, this one does not. Um, at the sides, the only real difference at the edges is the edge on this just looks nice and clean and basically brand new um, because it hasn't really had any use. This one um, has those areas of chipping. Oh, there's also some areas of chipping down here at the bottom that I hadn't noticed before. Um, you know, so you can tell by the, the glaze or whatever you want to call it here at the side um, that the violet color, the purple color, has been used a little bit more. Same thing down over here, a little bit of chipping, and there as well. The fronts, I really feel, look like in about the same condition as well as the exterior of the back. Um, there really isn't anything to note. Um, the material has held up really, really well. Again, I try not to expose my accessories or handbags to extreme elements and that sort of thing. Um, I try not to overload my bag. So those things probably help with not giving your accessories excessive wear. Um, but overall, I feel like the exterior leather has held up really well. The button, um, the little snap, has kind of worn just a little bit. It's easier to kind of find these things, I guess, when you have more of a brand new one right next to it. Um, it's not really noticeable when you're looking at it, but from uh, opening and closing it, I put my finger at the top to close it. So um, it's worn off just a little bit. I'll try to get a detailed shot of that, comparing that as well. And again, that's just cosmetic. Overall, in the interior, you know, the card slots in this will be a little bit firmer and that sort of thing, but otherwise, you know, really there's no excessive wear on this wallet. The only thing to really note is this area at the top where the cards have put that imprint on there, and this does not have that because it hasn't really been used enough to get that. Um, but really, overall, a really functional piece. So hopefully this has been helpful. I really love this wallet, so of course I'm biased, but I think that it has held up extraordinarily well, and I'm a really big fan of Louis Vuitton accessories and also the Verini items. Um, I think that they are more durable than they seem and more durable than people give them credit for. So that is my wear and tear review for the Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet. So hopefully this wear and tear review has been helpful, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day!